right, this is Dr. Josh Cohen here. I am getting ready to do the Evo ICL procedure. I'm going to give a quick narration of what we did for this patient. So I'm putting on the digital 3D headset that allows me to uh, see everything I need during the procedure, just like a traditional microscope would, except in the three-dimensional upright view. It's a virtual image, really, really cool. But after scrubbing it, I need to get the lens ready. So the ICL comes in these proprietary sterile packages. Every eye has its own custom lens designed and ordered for it. And here I am taking it out of the sterile solution. And you might be able to see some little tiny holes that help uh, fluid circulate around the lens, which is implanted, and also help me orient the lens to make sure that it's in the right position. I'm putting it in this inserter cartridge so that I can safely put it into the eye in the proper orientation. And I'm using some special sponges that are designed just for this loading task. And again, a surgical scrub tech can do, but I like doing it myself just to make sure that it's just the way I like it. And I'm putting it into the inserter. I'm also filling it with a little bit of jelly called the viscoelastic solution that helps protect the eye and protect the lens during the procedure. So once the lens is ready and loaded, we are now ready to position against, uh, to position near the eye. And I'm cleaning with a little sponge, making sure that it's nice and dry so that I can put some Tegaderm over the lashes and get them out of my way. Here's a close-up of the headset itself. I am looking through a simulated image as if I'm looking at a three-dimensional television about three to four feet in front of me, even though, of course, there's no screen there. And here I am getting those lashes out of the way as well. Proper positioning is so important for surgery. You really want to make sure you're comfortable and that you can see everything that you need to throughout the entire process. It's a great view of the cornea. You can see the circulator here getting the axis of the toric alignment set. This is a toric lens, so it's designed to treat not only nearsightedness or myopia, but also an astigmatism. Now the first step is a, it's called a paracentesis or a side incision. And you can see it's on a bit of an angle. This helps me ergonomically later in the procedure so I can put instruments in to tuck little flanges on the edge of the lens in position uh, without torquing the cornea too much. Followed by a preservative-free anesthetic lidocaine with a little epinephrine that keeps the cornea diet, that keeps the iris dilated, also keeps the patient nice and numb. Though this process can sting a little bit, it's really the only discomfort some people describe. After this is more of that jelly that I was talking about, that OcuCoat solution that helps maintain the anterior chamber or the very front uh, passage of the eye. And this is really critical as we do incisions so the eye you know, doesn't lose its form. Now this side incision is basically at three o'clock to the patient and it kind of has a little beveled eye planar edge to it, so it is self-sealing. The patient doesn't feel any of this. They might feel a little pressure, maybe some shadows coming in and out of you, but certainly no pain. Now this part is the lens insertion. So I'm basically taking the inserter and orienting it right in that wound, and I am very gently, slowly inserting this lens into its position. And I want to make sure that it's not flipping on me, it's not rotating, and I'm using those little holes as guides it does take some getting used to, but there it is opening up just fine, just the way I'd like to, and just the way it needs to. Then after this, I tuck those little four edges under the iris. That part was not shown here in the video, but here I am just <clears throat> checking the wounds and making sure everything is nice and sealed and that the axis is perfect. There are little alignment markers on the lens to make sure it's lined up with that vertical line there. In real life, it's actually horizontal, but that's it. The whole thing takes just a few minutes and this patient did great. Okay. All right, come ahead and sit up. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah, can you see anything? Can you see the time? Yeah. Perfect. Excellent, excellent. So obviously you're quite dilated. It's going to be a little easy, a little blurry for the next day or two. Um, but we'll check the pressure in about 30 minutes. Yeah. The yellow's from the beta dye, so we just put a little extra sterilizing agent on the eye and it might stay longer. But um, can we do you have any questions? Alright, great, we'll see you in a few minutes. You have a lot of dryness here, so that's why you got that right here. But that's okay, we can do it. Blink a little bit. Excellent. Alright, so everything looks good. So, are you having any pain or discomfort? No, I feel a little dry. Feel a little dry? Okay, just edit that out. <laughs> just kidding. Um, all right. I mean, dryness is okay, uh, but no like severe pain or aching. No. All right. 
So um, yeah, well let's just go ahead and just check your vision real quick one more time. So up on the screen there, how much can you see? Okay, go ahead and try to read that one. Perfect. That's 2030, and that's great. So, you know, we're already 90% there. Uh, hopefully tomorrow, once we get the drops on board and take the medicine for pressure, your vision will continue. But you're doing great. All right. Was it what you expected? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Um, I mean, you know what to yeah, say. exactly. Yeah, you know, that's good. Um, yeah, I mean, as long as, you know, it was uh, a painless experience, that's the main goal. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are concerned and, and afraid of having an elective surgery or a lens put in the eye, especially when you're just a LASIK. You know, it's a whole different type of experience. So, yeah. you know, definitely you can be very good. So, all right. Thank you. All right. Thanks.